right. I'm Major General Patrick Cording. I commanded the 7th Armed Brigade in the first Gulf War. My interest in the nuclear weapons situation has been ongoing ever since I was at Staff College when we used to discuss what the Warsaw Pact could do to us and how we could actually stop them with the use of tactical and why we needed strategic nuclear weapons in that scenario. I think my main focus came in 2010 when it became very clear with the Strategic Defence Review that it was not going to look at the nuclear weapons issue in that review and four of us got pretty agitated, four of the next soldiers got pretty agitated about that and we were trying to point out to everybody in the government that actually it was quite wrong to have a Strategic Defence Review uh, without looking at nuclear weapons within it. Of course, now you've got a situation where the MOD budget includes the strategic uh, weapons uh, budget in it as well, which wasn't before. And therefore, when you get to a situation where the, when the Ministry of Defence is very short of money, our armed forces are cutting size, you really, really have to look very carefully at the vast amounts of money, maybe 100 million pounds, 100 billion pounds, um, over a 30, 40 year period. That's about three billion pounds a year, whether that is money well spent. The conundrum is that we are so embedded with the Americans, it'd be very difficult to extricate oneself. And that's probably why it's not covered in the Strategic Defence Review. Now, what about Trident itself? I mean, for as far as a military use, Trident has no value at all. It is a political weapon. It's not even a weapon of last resort in our instance because we are so embedded with the Americans. We are part of the American uh, submarine submarine fleet in this respect and we can't actually at the moment seem to extricate ourselves from that. What we should be doing though is going to the Americans and saying listen actually we're more used to you with decent conventional forces for conflict resolution use in those sorts of ways than we are actually being a nuclear power and helping you out with continuous at sea submarines all the time. And then we should go to the United Nations and say, yeah, we are a member of the, one of the five members of the United Nations Security Council. However, uh, and therefore we should really, in effect, I suppose, be a nuclear power. However, we would be much better letting the Americans carry out that role and actually helping with much more with conventional weapons, with negotiation, with conflict resolution, the sort of things that make this world a safer and better place.